out this paper. Maybe I should have used scissors. and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am gonna be sharing a DIY project. And if you guys have been following me on my channel or on Snapchat, you know that I recently got this room where I have turned it into my office slash filming space. And I've been in the process of decorating this space. So right now it's still pretty bare, but I kind of want to keep it that way, but not too bare and I have a few projects in mind that I wanted to do for this room. One of the things I really wanted in my office is a wire mesh board and I've looked up a few DIYs where it requires you to buy like a chicken mesh, um, what do you call it? Chicken mesh sheet. Uh, you guys have probably seen this wire mesh board all over Pinterest or on Tumblr. I've also seen Urban Outfitters selling a wire mesh board for $60. So for this DIY, it's gonna cost you less than $10 for the whole thing. The hard part of this DIY is probably hanging the thing. So I'm gonna show you how you can easily have your own wire mesh board so your room or your office can look Tumblr AF. Yeah, so let's just get into it. We're gonna need a few things for this project. One of them is this wire net from Daiso. And if you are not familiar with Daiso, it's basically a dollar store, like a Japanese dollar store that we have here in the States. And everything is a dollar fifty, so it's not really a dollar store, but it's a dollar fifty. Found this wire net at the garden aisle. I believe that this might come in other sizes, but I'm not sure. So I just picked two of these things up. What I like about this is that it's already white and I don't have to spray paint it, but if you guys choose to have a different color, like if you want it in gold, copper, or black, then you just have to spray paint the wire net, which is very simple. Also, it's a lot sturdier than the chicken mesh wire that I've seen at Home Depot. And come on, this is only $1.50 for this thing, so. I got two of these wire nets. I wanted to just kind of join them together. So I found this simple connection joint thing where I'm just gonna attach it. In order for me to hang my wire mesh board, I just picked up a hook where I can just nail it on the wall. So I have my wire net. I can do this. I am strong. My wire net's ready and attaching it is super simple. Just going to take this connection joint and have the flat side on the back. So I'm just gonna take this other piece and slide it down like so to connect it. I will be using three of these to connect the two. So now I have my wire nets connected and I'm just gonna try to hang this on my wall now and see where I wanna put it. I'm gonna use a leveler to make sure that it's nicely leveled. So now I'm just going to attach my wire basket here. This one I got from the dollar store, but I believe Daiso has these also for $1.50 where it has the hooks already and you can just easily hook it into the wire grid. And I'm also going to be attaching my calendar in here so I can easily see what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the month and some motivational quotes that I printed online as well as some Polaroids that I've taken previously. And now I'm just hanging my really cute green catcher and just setting everything up. So that's pretty much it. And this is an extremely easy and affordable DIY and it's a great gift idea for, you know, that one friend who likes to organize. It's also a nice alternative for your corkboard. Don't forget to like and share this video if you enjoyed this DIY and let me know in the comment section down below what else you'd like to see on this channel. If you're not following me yet on my social media, I am on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. I would love to see you guys there as well. And that is it for this video today. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until then, I will see you guys on my next video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!